Hello everyone. Does Timekeeper class is good for PvP, solo and farming? And what correct combos to be used for Timekeeper? Let's talk all it here. First let's talk about the Timekeeper class skills. The first one is Rift Slash, it will cool down for only 2 seconds and deals damage to the target, and it will stack to 4, and it lasts for 30 seconds. The second is Stretch Time, it costs 8 mana, and have a cooldown of 4 seconds and reduces the target's haste by 20% for 10 seconds and applies yet another Temporal Rift. The third one is Relieve the Past, it will heal you and help you to regain mana, and will increase your dodge by 25% and also increase your haste by 30% for 10 seconds. And it will only cost 10 mana with a cooldown of 10 seconds, and also applies Relieve the Past dealing damage over time over 8 seconds. The fourth one is Compress Time, this is your nuke attack, Damage of the opponent's stack based on the amount you've dealt and up to the past 10 seconds while it was active. Then lastly the stop time, from the word itself it stop, stun, or lock the target for 2 seconds and give you a 300% damage and also applies a stack of temporal rift. There are 3 passive for this class. First one is speed perception. Increase your dodge by 15%. Second one is Quick Reaction, reduces damage taken by 10%. And the third one is the Temporal Cataclysm, the DOT taken reduced by 60%. And for the combo that I used is 3 2 2 5 2 3 2 2 5 and 4. And I used full luck for it so that I will give me higher damage, but you can use a recommended enhancement which is hybrid. It's all your choice. This class good for soloing because of the greater damage and sometimes give you a big critical, then this class have a heal and can restore your mana and also have a higher percent of dodging the enemy attacks. For farming. For me this class is not the best choice, because this class attack only on a single target doesn't have a AoE skills. It will take you much time if you use this for farming. I recommend you use another farming class. This class can use to support due to the skill that can heal the teammates and regain the mana and also increase their dodge by 25% and haste by 30% for 10 seconds. It is good also in PvP, because it can crit 100k or higher it depends on your set, and also have a dodge and can reduce damage for 60%. Does this class can possible kill the ultra in the map of time in? Let's see if it can. Let's try first if we can kill the Ultra Ezrigil. This class is quite amazing, it can kill Ultra Ezrigil. Then now let's proceed to Ultra Warden. Notice the damage? The damage can reach 80k sometimes can reach 100k. So cool.
now I remember everything and how careless we could be and how careless we could be. Let's try again if we can kill it, because it takes so long to kill the Ultra Warden, maybe it's only a dumb luck. But this time, let's try to use Boot if we can kill it, and put skill 3 into the safe skill in order to heal you if your health lesser 75%. You can still kill the warden even though you are using boot on it. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. And hope you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be updated to my latest videos. Once again thank you so much, keep safe and God bless.